Hello and welcome to our report card for the Rotogrip Idle Cosmos. The Cosmos released on July 8th, so it's been out for a little over two months at the time of posting this video. And the point of these, again, is to check back in with stuff a couple months after the review to see if we still feel the same way as we did in the review, see how much we're using them, what we're using them on, if we have anything else we noticed to add to what we said in the review, etc. The Idle Cosmos has the Pearl version of the Helios cover on it in Extreme Tracks Pearl. Extreme Tracks is very closely related to REX. I know I'd mentioned before that it was close to NEX, which it is, but apparently it's closer to REX, which we have on the Dark, Infinite, and Night Road coming up. Realistically, not a huge difference, just wanted to point it out though. Either way, very strong cover, strong symmetric core, early, round, and continuous ball. Once again, more proof that saying Pearl doesn't mean super long and flippy. Strong cover formula Pearl like this is different from clean and responsive medium strength cover formula Pearl, like a high road Pearl. Angel initially had a tricky time getting lined up with it and it was a little slow, uh, but Surface rarely if ever looks good for her or is even usable. A little use and lane shine solved the problem in this case, so uh, also got uh, she also got out of the ball a little easier too. Bit more speed, softer hand, just get it off her hand cleaner so that the ball gets further down the lane and shapes more. Rolling it like she normally does will get anything to roll earlier and use more energy earlier. She doesn't use the Cosmos a ton, but realistically she isn't really bowling that much. Down to one league this year, cutting back on tournaments a little, but it's in the rotation. She does it a little differently than I do. She tries to mix up her looks so she's not just taking the same few all the time because she has about 20 balls she'd love to carry with her. So what she does is swap things out with other like things to still to still pack about the same reactions just with different balls. It is one of those 20 balls though, it's just with not bowling as much, nothing right now is seeing a lot of action, so to be fair, the Cosmos is seeing just as much lane time as anything else. I have a very strong layout on mine, so again, strong cover, strong core, strong layout. It's early and blendy, but that's what the point was. Not a house shot ball for me, and throwing symmetrics of any kind is a rarity anyway. I've been in almost exclusively ASIMs for league use for a while now. It's kind of funny how that works on the left side though. I want all things ASIM on house shots, and if I'm on something tough like this, this is our sport pattern we use, uh, if you remember from the review, I'm not packing any ASIMs. In the event that I can use Reactive on tougher patterns, the Cosmos is on the very short list with the ProMotion and Axiom. It's an elite level option that I think actually replaces the original Idol better than the Helios does. I think the Cosmos is actually even a little earlier and slower than the Helios, which wants to both dig and be quick all at the same time. The Cosmos is a little more one note, but when it comes to this type of reaction, that's what you want. Like an IQ Tour Phase 2, uh, you want those types of balls for what they do. You don't really want or need bells and whistles or them to do a few different things or, you know, like a urethane ball. You want a urethane ball to do what it does. The Cosmos is very consistent, predictable, and user friendly. No frills, it's not extra. You can see that as I move around, it does the same thing across the lane. It's round shaping, controllable, continuous. Uh, it's keeping this very difficult pattern in check. So again, it's one of the three in my main sport reactive bag. Now, unfortunately, that also means I don't get to use it much. Uh, not a house shot ball for me, and I'm, and I'm forced into urethane on tougher conditions a lot, but I'm still a big fan. I think this one's flying a little under the radar, and given the similarity to the original Idol, I'm a little surprised. Sure, I don't expect everyone to make the connection with it being Pearl versus Solid and a different formula, but 2 plus 2 isn't the only way you can get to 4, so keep that in mind. Big shout out and thanks to my Patreon members and great Discord community. Thank you for watching, and may the strikes be with you.